Welcome to Trade Pro. In this video, I'm testing another Bill Williams indicator 100 times in a row so you can see how it performs. It's the awesome oscillator, and I'm actually going to be testing it the exact same way that I tested the Williams alligator indicator in yesterday's video. So I'm starting at the same point on the Bitcoin chart so that we can get a really accurate comparison between the awesome oscillator and the Williams alligator. So the first entry for the Williams alligator test was right here on this candle. And this is where I started the 100 tests for it. For the awesome oscillator, the first entry is going to be on this candle because that's where it gives the first buy entry. But um, stop loss is gonna be the exact same with this stop loss indicator. And you can see I have the default settings on it. And I will show the indicator as well, um, just because people tend to ask. Here it is, trailing stop loss multiple of ATR. And then I'm just using the um, awesome oscillator that is built into TradingView. So I'm not using one of these um, public library ones. All right. so. I'm going to do the exact same stop loss and profit target that I was doing on the Williams alligator test. So for this entry here, it's going to be two times the risk for the profit target, just like on the Williams alligator test. All right. So there's that first one. Get another cross up right here. So here's our entry candle. Just makes it on that one. And we have another trade that we can take right here for a buy. So I'm only taking when the histogram crosses the zero line. I'm only taking entries based on that. I'm not going to be taking entries where it just flips from green histogram to red histogram or red to green histogram. It has to cross the zero line. So let's see if I can find a short setup. Looks like this thing is trending up a lot. Yeah, so this right here actually would be an entry this candle see how this one does yeah so crosses down below the zero line of the histogram on this huge candle stop loss goes to the stop loss indicator i don't know if what the outcome here is huge stop loss so i mean in real time you probably would not take this trade just because you know, the stop loss is so huge. And yeah, that does not work out. But anyway, you get the point. Here's another one. All right, pretty simple. Just like the Williams alligator test, but just slightly different. So it would be interesting to see which one performs better. I think that's it for just going over the basic strategy that I'm gonna be testing for. Um, keep in mind that you know this isn't a strategy that is complete and that you should go out and start trading on your live account. This is just testing out an indicator to see if the indicator performs well and if it might be worthy to add as part of a trading system, okay? So um, I think over the course of a lot of my testing videos, people have said ways that I could, they're like, why didn't you do this with the strategy? Why didn't you um, do it this way? And it's, it's because I'm not actually saying this is a strategy. I'm just saying I'm testing an indicator, giving it a baseline test to see how it performs, all right? So, I know that this isn't a good strategy and that there's a lot of things you can do to improve it and change it. So just uh, keep that in mind. This is just testing an indicator for, if nothing, 
entertainment purposes. Um, and if something, figuring out if the indicator itself is worthy of a further deeper dive into it. Um, but anyway, enough on that. Time to get into the 100 tests. The results are in after 100 back-tested trades using the awesome oscillator on Bitcoin's 30-minute time frame. It took three months of price data to find those 100 signals, and it did not do so well, at least not even close to as well as the Williams Alligator did. There were only 35 winners, 65 losses. The most lost in a row was eight, and the most wins in a row was four. Gain on the account. 5%, essentially nothing after fees. So this really doesn't do well. The Williams Alligator uh, was far superior at nearly 30% gain on the account, using it in the exact same way on the same set of price data, although the awesome oscillator only took three months to find the 100, while the Alligator took four months to find the 100. So the, the Alligator just performed much, much better than the awesome oscillator. And I would not recommend using the awesome oscillator as an entry signal in the way that I have shown it. Um, you know, I'm sure someone has found a profitable way to trade with the awesome oscillator, and I'm not saying you can't, but I'm saying there's probably a much better way to do it and better indicators out there. So you probably shouldn't spend much time fiddling with the awesome oscillator. Although I'm all for changing settings and working with indicators to try and make them better. All right. So that's the awesome oscillator, Williams alligator, far superior. And that's all I have. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know if you want to see anything else, specifically um, tests, or uh, I know people liked the videos where I tested other YouTubers strategies. Um, but I've been having a hard time finding other YouTuber strategies where their rules are really rigid and can actually be tested accurately because a lot of their strategies, they're very subjective and don't allow me to actually be able to test them in a back testing uh, fashion and actually do it accurately, if you know what I'm saying. So if you know of any strategies out there that can actually be back tested accurately, let me know and I'd be happy. I'm always interested in testing other YouTubers uh, strategies out for my channel, makes for good entertainment and not only for myself and the viewers, but also if we find a good strategy, you know, it is helpful for people to know whether or not those other YouTubers are giving good strategies. All right. So thanks for watching.